Buffer overflow. Imagine pouring too much water into a glass until it spills everywhere. That overflow is exactly what happens inside Windows when a program receives more data than it can handle. The extra data spills into memory areas it should never reach, allowing attackers to insert harmful instructions. This flaw powered major attacks like the blaster worm in 2003. It's the digital version of overfilling a container until something dangerous leaks out. Privilege escalation. Think of someone climbing a staircase they were never allowed to climb. Privilege escalation lets attackers start with small powers and secretly upgrade themselves to system level access. Windows 10 had several bugs where normal apps suddenly gained administrator rights. It is like a stranger sneaking into the control room and taking over. Information disclosure. Picture a locked drawer slightly open, showing just enough to reveal what's inside. Windows sometimes leaks small details like memory locations or system variables. Attackers use those clues like puzzle pieces to plan bigger attacks. Older Windows versions often exposed ASLR-related information, helping hackers map the system. It's Windows revealing hints without meaning to. SMB vulnerabilities. Imagine a door that appears strong but never fully locks. That was the issue in Windows SMB protocol. The most infamous flaw, Eternal Blue, powered the WannaCry attack in 2017, locking machines around the world. Millions of systems were affected because the file sharing mechanism had a silent crack. It is the perfect example of a tiny weakness causing massive global damage. Remote code execution. Think of a person controlling your computer from a place you cannot see. Remote code execution flaws allow attackers to send crafted data that forces Windows to run unwanted commands. Many older Windows components, such as Internet Explorer and Media Player, had this weakness. It feels like someone using an invisible remote to operate your machine. DLL hijacking. Imagine someone slipping a fake document into a stack of trusted papers. Windows loads small helper files called DLLs. If an attacker places a malicious one where Windows checks first, the system loads the wrong file. Windows 7 and Windows Vista experience this frequently. It's deception by perfectly mimicking something Windows expects. Cross-site scripting. Picture a web page acting friendly while secretly stealing your details. Internet Explorer had many cross-site scripting flaws that allowed websites to run unauthorized scripts. Passwords, sessions, and browsing data were all vulnerable. It's like opening a harmless door and discovering a listening device inside. Memory corruption. Imagine a bookshelf where books fall into the wrong sections. Memory corruption flaws confuse windows about where data should be stored. Attackers use that confusion to execute harmful code. XP and Vista were especially affected. It is disorganization that attackers turn into opportunity. Backdoor access. Think of a hidden tunnel beneath your home that only strangers know about. Backdoors are unauthorized entry points created by malware such as Dark Comet, PlugX, and GH0STRAT. They let attackers enter Windows systems whenever they choose. It's silent, secret, and extremely dangerous. Weak authentication. Imagine a lock made of thin paper. Older Windows systems stored passwords using weak hashing methods like LM hash, which could be cracked in minutes. Windows 7 still supported this for compatibility. It's the security equivalent of leaving a fragile key under the doormat. Denial of service. Picture tapping a fragile object and watching the whole thing collapse. Some bugs allowed attackers to crash Windows instantly, triggering the blue screen of death. Network and printer drivers in early Windows 10 were known targets. A tiny nudge could bring the entire system down. Email-based malware. Imagine a mailbox that accepts every letter, even ones with hidden traps. Old Windows email clients opened attachments without proper checks. This flaw helped the I Love You malware in 2000 spread globally within hours. It was trust given to dangerous messages. Zero-day vulnerabilities. Consider a flaw no one knows exists until someone exploits it. Zero days are vulnerabilities discovered by attackers before Microsoft learns about them. They have appeared in the kernel, Windows Defender, Edge, and many other components. It is the most dangerous kind of weakness, invisible and unpatched. Scripting engine flaws. Imagine giving instructions and having them misinterpreted in the worst possible way. JScript and VBScript engines inside Windows often misread commands when flawed. Attackers injected malicious scripts to take control. Internet Explorer was one of the biggest victims of these issues. Windows Defender Bypass Think of a guard who gets fooled by someone wearing a clever disguise. Some malware hid behind encryption layers or harmless-looking files, slipping past Windows Defender. Early versions of Defender in Windows 8 and early Windows 10 were not very strong. It's protection that work, unless the intruder plays smart. PPTP VPN Weakness Picture a secret tunnel with loose bricks that anyone can move aside. Old Windows VPN protocols, such as PPTP, used weak encryption. Attackers could intercept or decrypt communications. 
A private conversation was not truly private. Kernel vulnerabilities. Imagine a tiny crack forming at the foundation of a building. The Windows kernel is the core of the system. Any flaw there is extremely serious. Rootkits rely on these cracks to hide deep inside Windows. From XP to Windows 11, this has been one of the biggest security battlegrounds. LNK shortcut exploits. Think of clicking a shortcut and triggering something entirely unexpected. LNK exploits allowed malware to execute just by displaying a malicious icon. The Stuxnet attack in 2010 famously used this flaw. It's a trap hidden behind a familiar symbol. Legacy component vulnerabilities. Imagine keeping old rusty tools inside a modern security vault. Windows maintains many legacy features, ActiveX, old SMB versions, and Internet Explorer components, mainly for compatibility. These outdated parts create today's vulnerabilities. The past keeps opening cracks in the present. Rootkit Stealth. Picture invisible footprints across a room but no visible intruder. Rootkits hide deep within drivers or the kernel, masking malware from users and security tools. They take advantage of low-level flaws to stay unseen. It's the ultimate form of digital invisibility.